in this treasure hunting business, you always hear me talking about 10 care, 14 care, 22 care. Do you know what it means? Well, a couple of y'all have commented to me about wanting to learn more about uh, the jewelry and some more about the gold and stuff. So what I've done, I've teamed up with one of my best friends, Jeff the Jeweler. And uh, he's going to be training us on some of the aspects of jewelry business and gold and so forth. So, I'm going to start off with lesson one on carrot and gold purity. He's going to share the video he did on that right now with you. Watch this. <music> Jeff the jeweler and I'm going to show you how to make money in the jewelry industry. This is lesson one. This is more theory. This has to do with some practical terms though that you'll need to know from the beginning. So you need to kind of commit these to memory. Uh, it has to do with gold purity. Uh, when you're talking about gold purity, you're talking about carrot. The word carrot, that's the only time it's used with a K-A-R-A-T, meaning how pure is the gold item. If we've already established it's a given that the item is gold, it's how much gold is in it. All right, so it's gold purity, and when we're talking about it, it means carrot. All right, now on this chart, what we have is the United States method for measuring gold, and then we have the European or the rest of the world's method for measuring gold, or the universal method, really. Okay. So uh, this is uh, base 24, and uh, this is what we expect to see when jewelry is made for the United States audience, or it's made here in the United States. It's stamped 10, 14, 18. You don't see 22 or 24 unless it's a gold bar or a coin, and it doesn't say 24 carat. It would say 0.999 because it's a, a 24 carat is just a theory. A pure gold doesn't exist except in the element form. And uh, this is as close as you can get as 0.999, and when you see that on a coin or on a gold bar, uh, that's what they're trying to express is 24 karat solid gold. All right, now uh, going up the chart here, you, it's getting watered down. Uh, 10 karat gold should be the cheapest because it's got the least amount of gold in it. It's 10 parts pure of 24, 24 out of 24 being pure. So 10 parts of 24 being pure is 10 karat. This also can be expressed, or you might even see it if the jewelry is made in Europe. 417 will actually be on the chain tag or on the inside of the shank, meaning it's 10 karat gold. And it means 42%, but, uh, if you round it up. But, uh, 417 and 10 karat mean the same thing. All right, 14 karat and 0.585 mean the same thing. It means 14 parts pure of 24, or 58, almost 60% pure. So 10 carat, if you just round it down 40%, 14 carat, round it up a little bit, 60%. That's why this is more expensive. It's got four more parts of pure gold in it. When you go to 18 carat, it's got four more parts of pure gold in it. It's 18 of 24, or 75% pure. Three quarters of the item is pure gold. All right, so uh, you might see 750 on the chain or on the inside of the shank. This is normally the finest gold in the United States or made for the United States audience. Uh, beyond that, 22 karat, you don't see this stamp in the United States, but you do see the uh, decimal fraction on a piece of jewelry. It'll be orange in color, and it'll be made for Saudi Arabia, made in Saudi Arabia, Dubai, uh, the Philippines. Uh, their gold is really orange in color. It's almost pure as why, and it'll be marked .917 or 916. I've also seen that on jewelry. But what it means is 22 karat, or it's almost 92% pure. So uh, 24 karat, we already discussed that, it's uh, in coins and in bullion. You don't see it in jewelry at all. So uh, this is the purest jewelry you'll see in the field when you're buying it. Orange in color, probably marked 916. Then the United States, 18 karat is probably the nicest that we make for the United States audience. Or in Europe, it'll be marked 0.750 or 750, meaning it's 70% pure. It gets cheaper as you go up the scale because there's less gold in it. If you're buying gold to resell it, that's all important. So this is the first thing you should learn. Maybe take a picture and put it on your cell phone so you can uh, reference this. That if you see these, or you, of course you recognize those, you'll know the percentage of fine gold in it. What's worth paying for? What is it? All right, this is Jeff the Jeweler. This has been lesson one, and it's basically just gold purity and the word carrot. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Well, I hope that clears up when you heard hear the word carrot, you know exactly what you're talking about, purity of gold. 
Alright, well, if you like that video and you want to see more, comment below. Let me know if you do. Um, I'll get Jeff the jewel to work with us again and make some more educational videos on jewelry. Alright, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, uh, please click like, uh, comment below, share it, and subscribe. Alright, thanks.